Who's covering who? They don't know. Or at least we think they don't know. Who has the flat? Who's playing Rover? Who has deep thirds? Who's playing man to man? Simple task of the week. Do your job continues. Another episode of Sip the Tatter presents Raven Roundup. Week four. This is Coach Evans. Who's covering who? Let's go. So now let's talk about these this miscommunication, these missed assignments on the back end. Uh, the last video we talked about the run fits and how they were not uh, adequate for an entire game. Uh, gave you four plays where run fits run fits were not properly um, fitted, so to speak, and Chubb kind of ran wild. Uh, I think I showed a 17-yard play, the 88-yard touchdown, uh, and a, another couple big runs that kind of just in those four plays was right around 100 yards, if not more. But um, it was more because it was 88 to 17. I know of in two other plays. Uh, let's talk about the back end now. Warren Sapp, I always used to say when he was on um, NFL Network, the front end and the back end have to work together. They're not working together. They're not, they're not even on the same planet right now. Like one person meeting in, in Maryland, the other person meeting in South Florida. They nowhere close on the same page. But let's talk about the communication on the back end and kind of see, you know, what went wrong and, and see if we can figure out who's to blame for the miscommunication. It's going to be hard to pinpoint who is the actual fault on it because we're not in the meeting room we don't know who has what responsibility we're just going off what we can see on this all 22 and really i'm i'm assuming so and sometimes you know what happens when you assume but right now i'm assuming and i'm gonna go off this film and i'm gonna keep assuming until this film tells me something different all right let's start it off this is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up and while you're down there make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button thanks so right now we got we're in a two high shell. Um, so starting off with a two high shell for the quarterback, that means two some form of two or four. But at pro snap, it could rotate into something else. So right now we're giving a two or four, and it could be a bunch of different variations of two and four look. And again, post snap, it all could change. So now it's getting ready. The ball is getting ready to be snapped. You see the corners bailing out. Now you see uh, who's, this is Jefferson. He comes down to the middle of the field. Maybe some sort of robber-ish coverage. And it looks like cover three. Because uh, Earl's not in the middle, but he's deep. And the corner started to bail right for the snap. So we're thinking it's, a, it's some kind of cover three look. So now. Kenny gets hands on this this guy as well as Bowser. Bowser gets hands on him and starts to sink to his to his flat, so his cur his hook curl, whatever he got. Uh, this linebacker here is starting to sink also, and uh, we're getting. I think this is. I don't think this is a tight end right here. Maybe this is a tight end getting ha Judon getting hands on whoever this guy is. So now the tight end releases into the flats, so Bowser will have this guy. The problem is, look at how many guys are in the same spot. Again, let me make my mouse bigger for the people that can't see. Another free tutorial on how to make your mouse bigger on a Mac. Go to accessibility. Go to display. Cursor size. Large. Bam. Big mouse. All right. So now, these three guys right here. One, two, three. Why are they in the same area? Covering nobody. Covering nobody. Because this is alignment. 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 Maybe this is a bat. Maybe this is a bat. But still, these three guys are covering nobody with this guy sitting right here. Uh, if he's an, if he's some kind of a robber, the threat is here. This is the guy you need to rob. Right there. Why are you? If he's some sort of robber, the threat is here. Why are your eyes there? Even if your eyes are on Baker, he's looking at this guy. Your reaction should be to this guy. All right. Now, I can't say he should be there because he has a threat here to his flats. He has a threat to his flats. And if this is a running back, he, should not, he shouldn't be there either because he's a threat to his flats. So it's really, and he got hands on this guy to kind of slow him up. So it's really 
in my opinion, on Young and Jefferson. On why this guy's not covered. Bowser got hands on him, then start sinking. And then his eyes is on him. I think this is a running back. His eyes is on him. His eyes are on him. That's a running back. And so his eyes, he was right. Bowser was right. Um, this guy was right because he had a threat in the flats. So it's on uh, Jefferson and Young. Jeff, uh, they got hands on him. If you're going to rob somebody, why are you robbing the the shield? The shield can't catch a pass. Hey, and and correct me if I'm wrong in the chat box, but zone coverage is really man coverage, but inside your zone. And let me explain that. So if you have deep thirds and a receiver enters your deep thirds, now that is man coverage in that deep thirds. Never cover grass. These two guys cover grass. And this is the result. Nice little catch over the middle. So that they cover grass, didn't cover a person. Nice little catch. He got about got a bunch of yards. It was second and forever. Because these are sticks, and you probably can't see it. The sticks are here. The sticks are here. First down is here. So this is at least, what's that, the 47? So we go, that's, that's what, 7? That's 10 there. Another 5, so that's 15. So it's, it's, it's first and 25, or second and 25. I can't tell. You know, just because we don't we cover grass, we give it up. And now it's third manageable, or second and manageable. Then he got to the 9. Got, so made like 9 yards. All right, moving on to the next play. Goal line situation. This is one of their touchdowns, and we're playing zone. So now, check us out. Check us out. Marlins look like he's manned up. Um, whoever I can't tell who this is, he's manned up on Landry. This guy, these eyes are in the backfield. So, based off eyes, their zone. These two are man based off eyes, and you see Earl looking to this side too. And if I'm Earl, I look to this side also because this is Jarvis Landry and Odell Becker. I don't know if he's supposed to, but I would look to that side first also. All right, now, he, Earl squat. Let's, let's just look at Earl first. Earl squat. Landry's going out. Odell Beckham's coming across. Okay, so now he sees Beckham coming across. He decides to kind of get over top of that and chase anything that happens. But also, when he turns his head, he should see this guy right here. Take it a little further. Okay, they got this guy bracketed. And Earl's still trying to get over top of that Odell Beckham thing. Who um Jeff is this Jefferson? I can't tell who this is. Let me see. Go back to pre snap. Whoever this is in the middle, I can't tell. Tries to cut off Odell also. So really you got um this guy focused on Odell. This guy focused on Odell. And Humphrey following Odell. With all that being said, he sets the screen on this guy. So I'm gonna say Jefferson got 83. Let me go back to the beginning of the play. Let's say Jeff Jefferson has that tight end in man coverage, but looking in the backfield. So now, Jefferson has to fight through all this trash to get to 83. He got screened by this guy, so he can't get there. So, with that being said, it should be verbal calls. Pick, 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 switch, 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 switch. Something should be said. Something. I'm sure it was not. And he realized it. I don't know if he should have picked him up or he finally heard the call late. But he realizes it and it's too late now because he's man to man with his back turn. Easy catch, easy throw, no communication. And even it, and I cut it off, but when this play was over with, Tony chased him to the corner and then just turned around and, and sprinted to the sideline. Which to me screams guilty. I don't know about you, but to me it screams guilty. Next play. Um, I think this is Jarvis's play where we miss tackles. So now we look. Let's go back to pre-snap. Pre-snap giving a two-share look. So some form of variation of two or four. Get out of there. And we keep that same look. Now, with that being said, if this is some variation of two or four, this cornerback, I mean, this receiver has no business on this side of the corner. None whatsoever. Zero. Zero responsibility. And so when I pull it back a little bit further, there may be some variation of three, and he has the flats. But if he has the flats, he should start to come off that. 
But either way it go, he shouldn't have. The cornerback shouldn't be on the backside. Because you, you you asking for a whole shot. You asking for a whole shot. Let's check the middle out. So who is this? Let's see who this is. This guy right here has to wall off one of these receivers. And I don't think he gets there. So why are you pursuing a run fake and it like it's a run fake and there's no run fake? This is straight drop back. So the ball snap, get your butt out of there. Why are you taking steps forward? Ball snap. It's not even a fake. He drops straight back. Get your butt out of there. Get your butt out of there and wall your guy off. Now, who he should be walling off is this guy right here, because this is where his eyes go. And what walling off means is, and I wish I could draw on this, he's gonna prevent this guy from getting in the middle of the field at all costs. That's what that will wall off walling him off mean. He can't get there and, and flips his hips. I guess decides, okay, he going forward. You know, I can't get there or whatever. I'm going to see where the ball at instead of just walling him off. If he keeps his eyes on him and makes sure and walls him off, then gets in phase on his bottom hip, this ball's not thrown. Keep your eyes on him. Keep dropping. And once you get close to him, get in phase. Get in phase and run that bottom hip. They don't even throw this ball. But because you turn your back to the receiver, you don't know where he at. You don't know where he at. They're going to zip right behind your head. Right there. Zipped it right behind your head. So the ball's caught right here. Because he doesn't know where the receiver is. Ball's caught. Now after the play, this is this is the tragedy of the play. Tony's sitting back here, seeing all this happen in front of him. And he's a deep he's a deep guy right here. So he should. Why he's deep, I don't know still, but it is what it is. Now, watch him as like a heat seeking missile come in here and try to blow this up. Keyword try. Delivered a big blow. Did not wrap up. Big blow. Did not wrap up. Big blow. Not wrap up. Wrap up. Basic fundamentals of football. There are two of them. Blocking. Tackling. Tony didn't tackle. So, with that being said, the big hit happens on the 22, 23-yard line. No, 27, 28-yard line. Guy still running. Guy still running. So Juice ended up getting to, before I cut it off, because I was sick of it, he at least is at the 35 before he fell. So. <sighs> Do your job. Do your job on the front end and the back end. And it's crazy because some of the same cats that were messing up on the front end are messing up on his back end. Next play. Next play. Next play. Next play. I'm just going to say I'm worried. I'm really worried. I went from way up here about our season to ankle level about our season. Now, I'm, I'm worried. I thought I cut that out. So the next play. I don't even remember what happens on this play. So now we still got a, we're giving a, a two or a four shell, but it kind of looks like, looking at eyes, it looks like man. His eyes locked in, his eyes locked in, his eyes locked in. Earl is playing the, the um, I can't tell if he's looking at one of these tight ends or looking at Baker because of that, that sight line. I can't tell. Let's play it a little bit and see where Earl's looking. This guy had moved, so he may be some form of robber right here. So, um, who is this? Let's see who this is. Just dropping. Dropping and covering nothing. That you done? Yeah, he's just dropping and covering nothing. He, that was a waste. Because they blitzing from this side, so he's dropping and covering nothing. So, I'm going to say this dude should have scooted over. He should have scooted over since the blitz came from the top side. Again, lack of communication. Lack of communication. Now. So the action happens at the top. I remember this play now. So with this being said, this is mano a mano. This man. This man. Why in God's name does Tony Jefferson just ignore his guy to squat on this uh this hitch? Why? Why? That's not your job, bro. This Marlin's guy. It's not your job. 
Again, people try to do other people's job. If you work at McDonald's, flip burgers. Don't come to Popeye's telling me how to roll chicken. And I don't work at Popeye's. I'm just using that as an example. Do your job. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Why? 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 This is this is just pitch and catch. This pat and go for Baker and this tight end. He didn't make a move. Tight end didn't make a move. Didn't stutter. Didn't shimmy. Give you, didn't give you something at the top of the route. He just ran. And just ran. You took the low-hanging fruit. And it wasn't even your fruit to get. You trying to eat more than fruit. You don't like more than half apples too? What? You want all the apples? Well, you paid for it. You paid for it right there. Because this your guy. Making a catch with nobody around. And again, since the Cardinals game, a guy is running in our secondary scot free. Scot free. Scot free. So, the moral of this, the story for both videos, do your job. Do your job. And after doing these breakdowns, I feel a little bit better because I know it's simply guys not doing their job. It's guys trying to be playmakers, which we want playmakers, but you got to be playmakers when the ball comes to you. You can't void a zone to make a play. And then do the basic fundamentals, like wrap up. Basic fundamentals like wrap up. This is uh, Coach Evans, video number two, miscommunication in the backfield. Again, if it's your first time here, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. And, um, you know, if you see something you want to talk about, comment. You know, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is Sip the Talent Ravens Roundup, week four, episode number two. And we out. With the